Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Um, I want to welcome you all back to my channel and I want to thank you all for um, waiting for me to be able to come back and record videos again. Um, it's, it's hard for me. Um, my mom was a huge part of my crafting and a huge part of the Etsy shop and a huge part of really everything in my life. And it's, it's, it's been hard with, without her. Um, I was blessed to be able to talk to my mom every single day, to see her almost every single day, um, to share so much, um, with her. And it, it's just something that I'm able to treasure forever. Um, it's been a month since my mom unexpectedly passed away. Um, sorry she would want me to do this um, and so I'm gonna do it um, I'm gonna keep on and it's hard but like this was part of our relationship that we had which was an amazing relationship like my mom was my best friend and it's it's hard um, I want to thank you all for all of your kind words, you know, all of the messages, everything, for your patience waiting for me, um, for your support in the Etsy shop and understanding when things couldn't be shipped exactly the next day. Um, you guys have all been great, and I appreciate that more than words will ever, ever be able to tell you. So, what I'm working on today is... Um, like snippet strips on that I'm trying to make here and I'll show you what my plan is so first I'll show you here these are off of my shipping labels they come out of my thermal printer and I always threw these in the garbage and I don't know about a month about two months ago my mom told me why do you throw those away why don't you do something with them and so I was saving them for her and uh, they were sitting here, and I was like, I'm going to figure out something to do with these. And so what I what I did do with them, I have a lot of ideas to try and do with them, but what I did do is I used them, and I made some snippet strips here. And I just stitched them right to this, and then they easily rip off. So just stitch them on there, and they rip off. So they hold them really nice. And you can cut them on here and then pull them off, or, or however. It keeps them for you. So I thought that was a good idea. And so that's what I'm going to do today is some... I want to make some of these, um, but I do want to do them in a Christmas theme. So Christmas usually is not, I, I struggle with bright colors, um, but what I went ahead and did is in, I'm sorry you guys, I'm all over the place here. I'll try and pull myself together. What I did is I went and I took some of my Christmas like ribbons, like these are wired ribbons, and I don't use them very often, so I snipped them in little pieces and some of my lace and some of my eyelash trim and just different different things like that and I put those in a basket and then I went ahead and I cut a bunch of my Christmas fabric in little strips as well I think I went way overboard but it was kind of fun to just sit there and snip it up and it looks like a yummy basket of Christmas candy or something <laughs> So I have some lace in here and some fabrics and just different different stuff in there. And we'll use some of that. So, and then I have some old newspaper. Um, and I just ripped those in strips. And these are a foot long, I believe is what I did. Yeah, 12 inches. And so I got two of those. And I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to start doing this. Um, be patient with me. I'm trying. But I wanted to show you like this little piece here. All I did is just took little strips and I just randomly snipped them in different pieces. Size pieces, they're kind of the similar, but similar size, but you get the idea. So I did that. And then also with lace, I did the same thing. I just took little pieces of my lace that, I, you know, ends of it that were almost gone or pieces that I had in some of my scrap bins. And so I just kind of cut them in different size pieces. Okay, so back to this. I also then went and got some, I ripped up some more of the newspaper 
and some coffee dyed paper doilies, some coffee dyed paper, some book page, this is a dictionary page, just, just different things like that. And Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, and I was going to bring my sewing machine over here, and I forgot to grab it. I even cleaned a spot off to try. I, I've never sewed on camera before, but I thought, well, I'll give it a try. But it's not here, so we'll see what I do here. So I'm just using art glitter glue, and then what I do is I just put a little bit. It doesn't take much because we're going to stitch it anyways. And, okay. I just added a little bit on there. And then I just took my paper scraps first, and I just kind of lay them on there every which way and all different textures and sizes and and so I just do that for my base just to make it a little bit thicker and you do see a little bit of this part but not all of it so so I'm just gonna go ahead and I could have I should have done one of these already ahead of time, but this step I could have just showed you. But I think it's part of the process, so. Okay. And I like the jagged edges off of it. So then we have the the base there, of our paper base. And then what I did, actually, you know what, let's just go ahead and, well, we'll just do one here. I could do this one off camera. So I have that, push that aside, and then I just grabbed some of these, and I'm just going to kind of set some out here and some of some of these. And I have coffee dyed um, cheesecloth and different things in here too. So then I had Fabri-Tac. And again, I'm just doing the same thing. And you don't need a lot of glue because we're going to stitch on it. So I just go ahead. Let's put that on there. And then I just kind of blob my finger on it like that so that it doesn't bleed through the fabrics. And then... I see. Just grab some strips and do the same thing as we did before, but with the material and the lace and that kind of thing. And let's see. And you just kind of keep working your way up it. You have some sari silk in here. Yeah, add some more glue. And then just go all the way to the top. These are fun to cut off and add on the top of tags and you can use them as belly bands or a pocket trim or anything like that works. Just keep adding the layers. I think this was the this was a curtain or something it has the hem on it. But 
pretty much anything works on here it goes see I have all kinds of more fabrics in here in the bottom and stuff I think I'm gonna make some of these to put in the Etsy shop they're fun to do so then I kind of look at it and if I want another little layer this is a little bit white here for me compared to the rest of it so I'll just go back and I'll find something else to put over top maybe something like that okay so let's see here I think I want to stitch it um, I'm gonna put this stuff back in here I'm gonna move this one out of the way here and I hope I can get this to work. I'm gonna run grab my sewing machine really quick. Okay. Let's see, move all my stuff out of my way here. Okay, I'll be right back. Give me one second. I'll set up here. And my cord's all twisted up, so just hang on for one second. Okay, now I gotta plug it in on the other side. Hold on a second. Oops, sorry. Bump you guys. I gotta think this over better but for right now we're just gonna leave it right here okay I hope you guys can see it I don't know if I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not I don't think so well I'm gonna just go ahead and I'm gonna do a um, a zigzag stitch in it so that's what I'm doing right now guys my foot pedal will run away from me on there. And I'm going to, as long as my sewing machine is sitting here, I'm going to see if I can stitch it onto my, my labels here. My label backs, I guess. And I'm just going to do a straight stitch to hold it on there. That way it rips off easily. Should be really quick. Okay. I'll move this out of the way. see what we have here so it's stitched right on there nice and slick and it'll pull right off so that is what we have there we'll have to make some tags and come back and use use this but I'm gonna go ahead and put one more together we won't sew the next one so I'll set this over here and then what did I do with my my other strip that I had here. I think this is it. Yeah. Okay. 
Okay, so. Again, I'm just gonna run our art glitter glue on it for the paper layer. My glue's half plugged here, so. I'm just gonna go halfway up here. Just add a layer of it on there. Okay, so we have our paper layer on there. Okay, and then we're gonna just pull some of this out. You can go back and add some labels on there, you know, or little jingle bells would be cute, all kinds of stuff. glue all over my fingers now. <laughs> this one I want to try and use the cream and white and the greens I think. I'm going to add a little more glue on top of this. <clears throat> I just use my silicone brush and then my fingers don't get all icky. I never think of that until after I get them all icky. Full of glue. Add a little bit of that green sparkly eyelash trim down here if I can get my glue to come out again.
let's see here. One more piece here. There and there we have that one. Should we just go ahead and stitch it on there? I know I said I wasn't going to, but it's literally right here, right? I'm going to go ahead and stitch it on there, you guys. So, So I'm going to do a zigzag stitch on here first and then I'm going to do the straight stitch on there. I have quilters, it's like quilters thread in here or something so it's thicker thread. Okay. Have that and now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna stitch it on here again I'm just using a straight stitch on this and we're just gonna speedy run it in here we go folded over here that I don't want folded over. All right. So there we have it. I can trim those off. Aren't those fun? I think they're so fun. And they work great for, you know, you cut them in little pieces and put them on the top of tags or you can use them for belly bands, all kinds of different things. And they're so fun to make and they're quick, I think. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I hope you guys are all doing well and um, we'll see you very soon.